Hey everyone, it's Coach Elias back with another live commentary on Rebirth. The purpose of this series is I am live commentating everything I'm thinking during all my gunfights, rotations, positionings. Ideally, this is a great opportunity just to pick my brain, ask questions, and overall learn some Warzone tips and tricks. So just getting right into it, you eyeball the middle of the circle. I understand that the game is gonna end at Doc D con. So I wanna definitely work top prison. That's where gonna be that's gonna be a where a lot of kills are gonna be, it's top prison. Landing here, I always have this um, simple route memorized of just landing here, being safe a majority of the time. You can always grab this weapon right here to pretty much kill people. I always like pretty much have that first initial gunfight uh, happen just like that. Um, all right, looking good so far. Got to make sure no one else is on top prison. So I'm just going to go ahead do a quick 360 perimeter clear just by uh, using my uh, mini map. Wanted to see if I could go kill that guy right there, but <laughs> no need to. All right, I wanted a faster weapon. I heard a guy break through the bottom door, so I know that there's a person directly under me right now. And I think a person, yeah, a person did land on top. So I heard that guy land on top. This guy's about to start pushing up. I can just pre-aim this. He's taking a while to push up, so I'm just going to slowly start pushing up and pre-aiming. I hear him on my right, though. He actually ran away. I can chase that, and he's going to be directly on my right right now. I'm waiting for him to move. I heard him move, and there we go. Enemy UAV active. So that was really easy right there. One thing you should always do is wait for the enemies to make the first move. And right there, he shot. I reacted to him shooting, and I ultimately got the kill. Um, I do not know how to use this weapon, so my bad. <laughs> I guess I don't have the recoil pattern down that much to kill that guy. I have it enough to kill that guy, though, which is a good thing. Um, I'm really wishing... Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I have the Owen gun. This is the gun I love. I see people shooting down at basement, so what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and just challenge from another side. Make sure this guy top prison doesn't go to kill me. There we go. That's one. That's two. That was really lucky. I see this guy on my red dot directly behind me. I'm in a bad angle. I'm out in the open. I have no cover. I just needed a back up right there. Regain. I can get a plate on real quick. Oh, he pushed up. He pushed up. There we go. Right there. He made the first move. I'm just using this corner. I have him to coming through two areas, and I can break his camera no matter what. I can break his camera on the left. I can break his camera on the right. If I push him, I'm limiting myself just to doing one thing, and that's very predictable. Um, I see those guys shooting outside again. They're probably going to rotate inside of prison right here. Oh, no. Those guys are on the basement basement. I can definitely fly down here and look for these guys. All right. So now I'm a little worried. I have no idea where they are. I'm just going to place this just to see if one of them rotates and lands down below on me. And nothing. All right. Very interesting. I see this vehicle driving out. Look for a buy station. There's a buy station out here. This is where I can rotate. That guy just got out. Ah, I don't have a good shot for him right now, but hopefully he'll respond to me uh, running. I'm actually just gonna leave that. So I'm fighting like three different teams right here. I'm just gonna buy a UAV just so I can actually, you know, focus up on this gunfight. And there's one guy chasing me. That guy got a stun on me, but I'm safe because I have this doorway right here, which is really good. There we go. You are such a fucking... Oh, what? I'm what? When you have a... What? Two people landing directly by me. So those guys are fighting there. I can go ahead and push that. He's going to be directly to my right. He's going to be directly to my right. He ran away, or is he laying down? All right, I'm going to go ahead and just go buy another UAV. Buy another UAV. Okay, cool. So no one is on this lower side. Whenever you need to get to high ground, go the opposite direction. If you go the opposite direction, you can almost always get to high ground very easily. There's like five different people fighting right here, so this is just fun. See where that guy is going. He's going to come up the steps right now, so I have time to just uh, plate up. I have my cover. He's going to start coming up these steps now and look for him. Yep, he's just right across, so I can chase this right here.
That's two people fighting, so I can drop down right here. Nice. One thing about zombie theory again is once you kill one, there's always going to be more. So I'm just like leaving those dead bodies for a second because normally people might land and go for that loot. Right now I feel pretty comfortable, so now I can fly out and you know loot up. I can buy another UAV right here again. Just to always have that information. I see this guy out here on the right hand side, just you know kind of slowly pushing up. I can just go kill this guy real quick. Then I can rotate back towards safety. There you go, just like that. And then that guy at tent, uh, the, the guys at tents should have saw me shot, but all I'm doing is I'm pushing back. Oh, this guy's out in the open. No. All right, he's gonna push up and loot this guy, hopefully. There we go. That's exactly what I thought. I think there's a person on top of control right now. Oh no, he's just flying in. Cool, so that guy flew in. I'm just gonna buy this UAV, get back inside. And guess what? That guy's on top of the roof. I'm gonna just push the other side. I'm going to push the other side and get to the rooftop once again. By doing that, you can do it right here by doing this simple hop up. And now that I'm on the roof, I can push across, jump up, jump up, and then see him right there. Now I just need to wait for him to challenge again, let him do the first move. And he actually dropped down. He, so he, he played safe. The guy's just out in the open. Go for that kill. Oh, he actually killed the guy directly under me. Good to know. There's actually a UAV, uh, I mean a sniper that I want to pick up right here, the Swiss. Ooh, dude. I got to really start using the Swiss a lot more. Um, okay, I'm just going to get to the rooftop again. So to get to the rooftop, you can do this simple hop up again. And right now, I can start like sniping people out of the sky just because, you know, ideally that's... Mm, dang. Is this the Swiss that people normally use? <laughs> I hear people shooting down at tents. Obviously, I should go for those kills. See a person running towards tents. Damn. All right. I guess I need to put down the sniper because I am not good with it. <laughs> well, let's see if I can uh, just get the snipe off. Let's see if I can at least get one right now. The new safe zone. Gas oh, what the? In. Dang. I just keep missing my shots. Okay, that one I feel like should have been a headshot. There we go. There's one. All right, you got to shoot straight with this thing. All right. So I have to shoot straight. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That Wait, I shot straight, and that wasn't a headshot. What? Okay, I landed directly on top of me. Easy kill right there. Just, he, you know, played a little too uh, over-aggressive for that right there. I just need to hop down. You gotta love when that happens, right? Everyone loves when that happens, when you die inside of a building to a kill streak. I got inside that building perfectly right there and I still died, um, but I need to drop this sniper just because I'm not good with it. And I'm gonna pick up this Breath of Godzilla. All right, so I have one enemy here. I think he's traveling up the other side. So once again, I'm gonna get to the rooftop again and work my way down. There he is. And that's what happens when you work your way down. If you literally work your way down, work from the top down, you're always going to get kills like that. And all I'm doing is I'm getting top to the roofs, and because I'm on top of the roofs from this side, I don't have to worry about what's in front of me. Or sorry, I don't have to worry about what's above me, and I don't have to worry about what's below me. And I got an assist on that, so I know that one guy is over there. I was really hoping I was going to have enough for another UAV. I also really should go for my loadout just so I can get um, just so I can get perks. Perks are a big thing in this game, and if I have a uh, quick fix or my um, tempered, that'd be really huge right now. So I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I can loot up. I hear some boxes loading up. I'm just gonna loot those up, see if I can find enough for a UAV. I'm very close to the UAV. There we go. Oh, 200 now. Here's a box right here. Still not enough money. And like this is probably the most annoying part about the end game. This is end game, by the way. Um, and I realized that I just need to start going for kills. Um, so instead of running directly out into the open, going towards my uh, loadout, I'm instead going to rotate clockwise. And I'm going to go with the gas. 
why I'm going as far back to the gas as possible, where I know I only have to focus on what's in front of me. And ideally, I sh don't see anyone at this boat, so no one should be there. People might be rotating towards the control, but so far I feel pretty safe that I can go grab my uh, perks. Just don't have to panic. All you gotta do is just make sure you never panic when you're getting shot at. Alright, right there. All I did was just make sure you get behind cover, make sure you stop getting shot at, and then you can rotate back around. Now that I cleared that out, I'm just going to go ahead and get to high ground again because this is where you're going to start expecting people to move. Um, so I always see it as you can camp when the gas is closing because that's when you're going to see enemies. But you shouldn't camp when the gas isn't closing. So like right there, I had to have a mission, right? And my mission was, all right, we're going to go ahead and make sure we push up. All right, there we go. That was a really hard gunfight. That guy's gonna be in the gas, but I can easily kill him. He's just gonna spawn up. I was worried about that first sniper, um, but right now I have a person directly under me. I'm gonna pop this UAV. Figure out where uh, that person was coughing at. So there's a person to my left, and I heard a person cough in front of me. I need to rotate out uh, clockwise right here and end up behind this person down here. Hopefully I can do this without coughing. Looks like I could do this without coughing. And then I started coughing, of course. There's a guy coming uh, towards me on my right, so I'm just gonna get ready for this gunfight. I have this entire wall as cover. Oh, that was a 1v1. I had no idea I was in a 1v1 right there. I should have looked in the top right corner. But right there, I was like, okay, I'm not getting shot on my left. That guy's not shooting anyone, so I know no one's on his right. I was just more so worried on what's happening at prison. But right there, I got 21 kills. That was a really good game. It happened in 12 minutes. That was really fun. Anyone, if you have any questions relating Call of Duty, please leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. And thank you so much for stopping by for the live commentary. I'll make sure to have more. And please let me know. Do you guys want to see Caldera or mostly just Reaper? Other than that, thank you guys, and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.